At Tesla's latest update, Elon Musk revealed, we're going to be building a 1 million unit production line. Then we'll do Optimus 4 at 10 million units. That statement reshaped expectations for Tesla's robotics timeline, sparking one big question. What factors could make Optimus Gen 4 arrive ahead of schedule? Before we begin, please help us reach 20,000 subscribers. It would be a huge motivation for us to keep bringing you amazing episodes about Tesla Optimus, humanoid robots, and all the latest AI and EV innovations from Elon Musk. Why is Elon Musk worried about Tesla's rising robot army? The development of the Optimus robot continues, but Elon Musk describes the commercialization of this humanoid robot as extremely difficult, particularly in creating hands as dexterous as human ones. He said the production process remains a mountain to climb, requiring numerous sophisticated engineering improvements. Currently, Optimus robots have been deployed inside Tesla's engineering headquarters in Palo Alto, California, where they operate 24 hours a day, seven days a week. According to Musk, visitors can even ask the robots to give them a tour of the building. Musk further revealed that Tesla plans to launch the next version, Optimus Gen 3, in the first quarter of next year, possibly in February or March. He described this version as one that won't even look like a robot, it'll look like a person wearing a robot suit. At the same time, Tesla is building large-scale production lines aiming to manufacture up to 1 million units of Optimus, making continuous changes to improve design and performance. Meanwhile, Tesla's record-breaking sales in Q3 2025 provided the company with some relief after a sluggish start to the year. However, Elon Musk is now heavily focused on developing his robot army of Optimus units and perfecting autonomous driving technology, both key milestones he must achieve if he hopes to secure the $1 trillion compensation package Tesla plans to award him. The tension between Tesla's traditional auto business and Musk's AI ambitions has never been clearer. Tesla delivered 497,099 vehicles in Q3, generating $21.2 billion in automotive revenue, the company's highest in over a year. However, profit reached only $1.4 billion, up $200 million from the previous quarter, but still 37% lower year over year. Most of the sales came from U.S. customers rushing to take advantage of soon-to-expire federal EV tax credits, but that alone wasn't enough to boost margins. In its shareholder letter released Wednesday, Tesla explained that operating costs rose more than 50% year-over-year, which was the main reason for lower profits. These expenses were largely attributed to AI R&D and about $240 million in restructuring costs, likely linked to the shutdown of the Dojo supercomputer project after six years of operation. Additionally, new tariffs further eroded profits, costing Tesla around $400 million. The irony deepens as Musk himself reportedly spent about $300 million on political support that contributed to tax policies now harming his own company. During the press conference, CFO Vibhav Taneja confirmed that taxes and AI spending were the primary factors behind the profit drop. Musk emphasized, We're at a critical inflection point for Tesla Inc. and our strategy going forward as we bring AI into the real world. He stated that Tesla is in the early stages of a major scale-up including full self-driving and robotaxis, to fundamentally change the nature of transportation. However, all this also adds significant pressure on Tesla in the final quarter of the year. The company must deliver another record-breaking quarter, even surpassing Q3, to maintain sales levels comparable to 2024 or 2023. The cheaper Model 3 and Model Y variants might help boost demand. But even in the best-case scenario, Tesla will still struggle to meet its promised 50% growth target to investors. Still, Musk remains steadfast in his long-term vision, convincing shareholders, employees, and the public to look beyond the traditional auto business. He is betting Tesla's future on creating a global network of self-driving cars capable of competing with Uber, and ultimately believes that the Optimus humanoid robot will become the best-selling product in Tesla's history. Once again, please help us reach 20,000 subscribers. This is important for us to stay motivated. Thank you. What do the leaked Gen 3 upgrades reveal about Tesla's next move? The image revealing the evolution of Tesla's Optimus, from the rough Bumblebee prototype to the semi-transparent Gen 3 on the far right, marks a clear technological leap forward. Although Generation 3 has not been officially unveiled, the photo alone reveals several key upgrades in design, materials, and mechanical structure, reflecting Elon Musk's vision of turning the robot into a person in a robot suit. First, there's the overall form of Optimus Gen 3. While Gen 2 still retained an industrial look with visible joints and exposed mechanical components, 
Gen 3 now appears sleeker, more seamless, and more organic. The shoulders, elbows, and knees seem to be rounded and enclosed in a lightweight composite or carbon fiber shell, which helps reduce weight while maintaining strength. Tesla's choice to display Gen 3 as a glowing silhouette likely symbolizes its direction toward a fluid, human-like aesthetic. As Musk said, you'd have to poke it to know it's a robot. Second, the body proportions of Gen 3 seem far more refined. Unlike Gen 2's slightly top-heavy frame and elongated legs, Gen 3 appears more balanced, with human-like symmetry in torso-to-leg ratio and overall stance. This shift likely improves dynamic stability and enhances its ability to walk, run, or balance on uneven terrain. It also suggests Tesla has implemented advanced control algorithms trained on massive FSD camera datasets and real-time physics simulations within the Dojo system. Third, the hands, previously the most challenging aspect, may see the most ground-breaking improvement. Although not clearly visible, Musk emphasized that the new hand is an incredible piece of engineering, likely featuring artificial tendons, muscles, and bones to mimic the dexterity of a human hand. If true, Optimus Gen 3 could perform delicate tasks such as picking up small objects, tightening screws, or typing on keyboards, capabilities Gen 2 still struggled with. In terms of sensors and processing, Gen 3 is expected to feature ultra-wide vision cameras, tactile pressure sensors embedded in its palms, and next-gen inertial measurement units, IMUS, to deliver smoother, more precise motion. Its head likely houses an AI vision module similar to Tesla's autopilot system enabling high-accuracy 3D perception of people and objects in real environments. These enhancements indicate that Tesla is transitioning Optimus from a purely industrial robot into a human interactive platform. If Gen 2 was designed to work in factories, Optimus Gen 3 is built to operate in real-world environments, offices, hospitals, and even homes. And with Elon Musk already hinting that Optimus Gen 4 will be produced at a scale of 10 million units, it's clear that Gen 3 serves as the final refinement phase before global mass production. If Gen 3 proves reliable, learns quickly, and achieves a 20 to 30 percent cost reduction compared to Gen 2, Tesla could begin large-scale manufacturing of Optimus Gen 4, where robots would no longer just be tools, but a vital part of the future workforce. What factors could make Optimus V4 become a reality sooner than expected? Elon Musk's statement about the Optimus Gen 3 calling its new hand an incredible piece of engineering and revealing plans for a production intent prototype by early 2026, followed by a million unit production line by the end of that year, and even an Optimus 5-4 targeting 10 million units, has ignited both excitement and skepticism. During Tesla's Q3 2025 earnings call, Musk doubled down on his belief that Optimus at scale is the infinite money glitch. Yet he also admitted that bringing a humanoid robot to mass production would not be a walk in the park. This duality captures the essence of Tesla's robot program, an extraordinary vision balanced on the edge of engineering reality. Tesla's financials from the same quarter underline the tension between ambition and constraint. Revenue rose modestly to $28.1 billion, but operating profit dropped nearly 40%, leaving the company with a thin 5.8% margin while it continues heavy R&D spending on AI, robotics, and factory automation. Against that backdrop, Musk's target of 1 million Optimus units by the end of 2026 looks extraordinarily bold. Theoretically, Tesla has several advantages that could make this timeline possible. Its global manufacturing scale, supply chain expertise, and advanced automation capabilities, honed through years of electric vehicle production, provide a solid foundation for scaling robotics. The company has also begun internal deployment of Optimus units in its own factories, gathering real-world data to accelerate AI learning and reliability. These factors lend some credibility to Musk's forecast. However, the obstacles remain daunting. The supply chain for humanoid robots barely exists, requiring Tesla to invent one from scratch. The robotic hand Musk praised is still one of the hardest engineering problems in robotics. It demands fine tactile sensing, high-speed feedback loops, and mechanical durability comparable to the human hand. Even minor misalignments in actuator precision could lead to catastrophic performance drops when scaled to millions of units. Moreover, with profit margins already thin and R&D costs soaring, a rapid ramp-up could strain Tesla's finances, especially if initial units fail to find a strong commercial market. If the plan does succeed, the implications would be revolutionary. By late 2026, a functional million-unit Optimus line could position Tesla as the first company to mass-produce humanoid robots at automotive scale. 
early units could be deployed internally across Tesla factories or leased to logistics and healthcare partners. With improved efficiency and volume, production costs could drop dramatically, opening a consumer-facing market for home assistance, elderly care, and light industrial work. The resulting ecosystem, powered by shared AI learning between robots, could give Tesla a near monopoly on humanoid robotics, mirroring its early EV dominance. Such a breakthrough could indeed validate Musk's infinite money glitch prediction and transform Tesla into the world's first trillion-dollar robotics company. Yet the risks of failure or delay are equally significant. If the new hand design proves unreliable, if production bottlenecks persist, or if the robots remain too expensive for mass adoption, the company may only manage a few hundred thousand units instead of a million. Investor confidence could falter, especially after such aggressive promises and Tesla's stock could face sharp volatility. Safety and regulatory hurdles could also slow progress, as governments and labor groups question the social and ethical implications of millions of humanoid workers. In that scenario, the Optimus program would likely continue but on a slower trajectory, becoming a long-term research project rather than an immediate commercial engine. Ultimately, Musk's timeline, 1 million Optimus Gen 3s by 2026, followed by V4 at 10 million units, should be seen not as a literal forecast, but as a motivational declaration aimed at forcing Tesla's engineering and supply chain teams to move faster than conventional industry timelines. Given Tesla's track record of missing early deadlines but eventually delivering transformative products, such as the Model 3 and Cybertruck, a delay would not be surprising. A realistic outcome would see the production intent prototype unveiled on schedule in early 2026, limited pilot manufacturing starting by year-end, and large-scale production ramping through 2027 to 2028. If this happens, Tesla would still achieve one of the most extraordinary industrial feats of the century. But if the project stalls or falls short, the company may face its most expensive lesson yet, that even for Elon Musk, scaling a robot army faster than the world can absorb it may test the limits of human ambition. We appreciate your contributions and hope you will have the most relaxing feelings after watching this video. If you did, please hit the like button and join the Techno Creator family by subscribing to our channel. And don't miss out on any of our awesome videos by hitting the bell icon. We value your feedback and your time. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you soon. Until then, stay safe and have fun.